It's unprecedented. It is absolutely unprecedented. This is the biggest operation, I think, in uh, search and rescue history, especially for California. I thought Napa and Sonoma was big until we responded up here. The nature of this fire has uh, basically leveled many of these structures down to the ground. Uh, most of the structures that we've gone into that could be 3,000 square foot houses are now six to eight inches of rubble. The response is amazing and it's, uh, it makes me a little emotional because it's, it's, it's a lot of personnel coming from everywhere. I mean, we, we have uh, dogs coming from Alabama and places to replace the dogs that we've been using because we, we're working everybody so hard. It's taking a keen eye and a lot of resources and double checking and being very redundant. These uh, structures have been uh, hastily searched in the initial, uh, after the initial fire and then they have uh, moved, we've moved on to uh, doing a full deconstruct of the targeted addresses. This is what it's going to look like regardless of what type of disaster we're going to have. If it's going to be a fire, if it's going to be the next earthquake, these are the personnel that we're going to have responding. And so the more we work together, the more we hash everything out, the smoother we get and more efficient we get. And that's what we really need to focus on is just efficiency and communication.